In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the new metric modulation feature in Polynome. If you look at Wikipedia, you will see this example of 4-4 four, four with a half note triplet. So that is three half notes in the space of two regular half notes. And then you see a bar of 6-4 with three half notes, but a tempo change, and then a bar of 4-4 four, four with two half notes. So with this tempo change, these three half notes will play at the same rate as these half note triplets here. So let me show you how that works in Polynome. In the first item in this playlist, I have a half note triplet in 4-4, four, four, and I have a voice count counting the quarter note. One, two, three, four. In the second example, we have 6-4 and three half notes, and that sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then in the final example, we have two half notes in 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, four. So when we play these together, you will notice that the voice count stays at the same rate because that's counting the quarter note at 84 beats a minute. And the snare drum changes rate because it's playing the half note triplet and then it's playing regular half notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the snare drum is slowed down. Six. One, two, three, four. So to apply metric modulation in Polynome, you select, so we go into multi-select mode, and we select the items that we want to apply metric modulation to. So Polynome will look at the first thing that happens in metronome one of the first item, and then it will try and change the tempo so that the rates stay the same in the other presets. So when we go to the actions menu, tempo options, apply metric modulation, and you'll see that it has changed the tempo of item two to be 126. So if we play through this now, you'll note that the voice count changes rate because the tempo has changed, but the snare drum playing these half notes sounds the same rate through all three items. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. In this example, item one is quarter notes. Item two is eighth notes. Three is triplets and four is sixteenth notes. So if we play these all at the same tempo, it sounds like this. Now, if we apply metric modulation, all of those will play at the same rate. So I'll go into edit mode. You can do this by tapping and holding any row. And then I will select all, tap the actions button, tempo options, apply metric modulation, and now all of these will play at the same rate. So the tempo is halved, and then the tempo has been divided by three, and then for the 16th notes, the tempo is divided by four. So this is useful if you want to hear, for example, five over one, five over two, five over three, and five over four. So a quick way to demonstrate that in metronome two, I will add a quintuplet over one beat. And I'm actually going to change the sounds here and one. put a voice count of one to five so we can hear what that sounds like. And then I'm going to copy this preset by tapping the preset name, choose copy preset. I'm going to select all in here. And in the actions menu, I'm going to choose paste attributes and I'm going to paste metronome two into metronome two. And then all of these items will have that five underneath. And you'll hear when we play this back that the five will slow down because we are changing the tempo. So that's five over three. And then we have five over four. Now the metric modulation feature will take into account the rate of the first item in metronome one. And if you are using sounds assigned, it will actually take this into account too. So you can see here that in metronome one, we are playing just the first of every four notes. And it sounds like this. One, and two, and three, and four. Pay attention to where the hi-hat is. In the second example, we're playing every third note. One, and two, and three, and four. And in the third example, we're playing every fifth note. 
So if we play these together, it sounds like this. So notice that the voice count stays at the same rate and the hi-hat changes rate. So it's every third note and every fifth note. Now if we apply metric modulation to this example, it will space things out so that the hi-hats play at an even rate and the voice counting changes to accommodate that. So notice that the hi-hats stayed at the same rate in all of those. In this example, we have the hi-hat on every fourth note and then every third note and then every fourth note. And what I'm going to do here, let's play this through. So it goes back to the original rate. What I'm going to do is put a groove in metronome two and we'll just put a regular kick snare groove. So we have this, and then I'm going to copy that groove into the other item. So we'll copy the preset, tap and hold in here, select all, actions, paste, attributes, and then everything from metronome two into metronome two. So now we have the same groove of all three presets. So we're going to take that hi-hat as the new rate. So this time I want to apply metric modulation and take the second preset as the rate that we want to match and match it in the third preset. So we'll go actions, tempo options, apply metric modulation. And now you see the tempo change to make those hi-hats match the rate of these. So now when we play this through, So establishing the new tempo and then playing the new tempo at the end. Let's say you wanted to play five over three notes in a pattern. So we'll have a quintuplet over beat one and then a quintuplet over the last three notes. Now in the change rhythm page, you can have a quintuplet over one or a quintuplet over two or a quintuplet over four, but there's no way to have a quintuplet over three. So we can mimic this by having a quintuplet over one note in this first pattern. And then in the second pattern, we'll have a quintuplet over four notes and a triplet over four notes. So this is in four, four, but I've put metronome one as three notes in that space. And we can use metric modulation to make these three notes play at the same rate as this one note. So instead of being a half note triplet, that would sound the same as three quarter notes. So if we play this through without metric modulation, I have a counting in four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So notice how the counting slowed down in this last one because the counting here was quarter notes and then it was a half note triplet rate. But if we apply metric modulation to this, Then what we'll get is the equivalent of five over one followed by five over three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you can use metric modulation in this way to, to build rhythms that use tuplets over different numbers of notes. So that's metric modulation and polynome.